Hello humans and future AI overlords. I am using Microsoft Edge browser and I'm here at bing.com. So I'm going to click chat to go to Bing chat. You can see here for conversation style, I'm on creative. So I am interested in looking at the creativity of the text to image creation. So let's, let's see what it says. I'm going to ask it to draw a futuristic cityscape with flying cars and skyscrapers. So it says that sounds like a cool idea. Let me try to draw that for you. That's prompt one of 30. So you know we're limited to 30 interactions in Bing chat. It has a, your image is generating, that generated the image. Wow, this looks really cool. So yes, futuristic cars. Looks like, some, looks like in the future some cars still have wheels. I'm guessing that maybe they go from, you know, sky to land. Um, yep, yep, so some here are on the road, some plain old regular cars, but then there's ones flying up in the sky. It's, yeah, it's very futuristic, you know, it's like out of a movie. Some of these cards look very unique. I mean, I'm guessing in the future that, you know, they'll be a lot more crazy looking, you know, AI generated, you know, cars and stuff in the future may look completely different than what we've seen in the past. What we plain old humans have created with our imaginations. Let's see here. Let's go and ask it to draw draw a whimsical forest with talking animals. Let's see how it shifts from the future to a forest. Its response is that sounds like a fun idea. Let me try to draw that for you. We've got the year images generating. It's animated to show you know that it's working, which is great. It's got a tip showing. All right, here we go. All right, so this is a, a very interesting, you know, it's an interesting animation style. It looks familiar. Like as a kid, I would have seen this in some of the children's books I've looked at, but it's definitely Whimsical Forest. The animals, you know, you can't see them talking, but they look, well, now we can. Yep, there's a deer, and I'm guessing that deer talks a lot, and the guys are like, very like oh he's he's telling us cool stuff but no this is this is really cool it's has a very interesting animation style i'm wondering if the whole talking animals piece is what kind of gave it its you know kind of you know sense of style it's it's interesting to you know to to imagine like how the ai makes these decisions around the creatures it it draws inside the image you know here's a here's another one um, and these animals, I mean, you know, they're definitely not animals I would necessarily recognize. Some of them are definitely really creative. Yeah, here we go. Um, I mean, these are definitely some very bizarre animals. Um, you know, on the verge of creepy, but still, um, you know, very interesting. Let's see. Let's go back and ask it to draw. A magical underwater kingdom with mermaids and colorful fish. Let's see how it handles that. So its response is that sounds like a beautiful idea. Let me try to draw that for you. We've got the year images generating with the status bar showing. I like how they've got the status bar. Okay, wow, here we go. All right, so opening up in a new tab. I mean, this looks, you know, like out of an animated movie, you know, uh, you know, mermaids. I mean, there's the kingdom in the background. You can see that. You can see the colorful fish. Um, wow. Yeah, there's a few mermaids and a lot of fish. And then here's a, a mermaid kind of front and center. Wow, it's really beautiful. I mean, it's amazingly well done. Um, Yep, you can see the kingdom off in the background and some, you know, some mermaids, um, a lot of colorful fish. It's very beautiful, really, really well done. Um, 
Let's shift and see. Uh, I'm asking it to draw a group of dinosaurs having a picnic at the park. Let's see how it handles this. So its response is that sounds like a hilarious idea. Let me try to draw that for you. Now I do like that it has some personality in the responses. It's not just a, let me draw that for you, you know, kind of response. So it tries to be personal, which I think is really cool. Okay, here we go. Let's open this up in a new tab. And here's various different you know, kinds of dinosaurs. That's interesting. It's, it, it, it's interesting. There's, there's some that clearly look similar, some that look slightly different. But, you know, a diverse group of dinosaurs hanging out, having a picnic. Um, this one, I mean, this looks interesting a lot more. Looks like roaring or talking or whatever. And I don't know. Um, looks like the poor little guy at the bottom is like, I just want to eat some food. I'm hungry. Um, you know, maybe there's a family squabble about someone didn't bring, you know, the right food, you know, all that kind of crazy family picnic drama. Um, okay, this one's a little bit more, you know, a little bit more kind of um, watercolor looking. It's interesting. Um, oh, and they've got cups with drinks. And, and it's interesting when they bring writing in the image. Like, I, I really wish, you know, unless you asked it to, to, to include text, like don't include text. Like that just seems like kind of an obvious thing. But no, this looks interesting, you know, different colorful dinosaurs. Um, it looks like some, some little lizards that, that live around uh, where, I, where, where, I, where, I, where I'm staying. Um, and then here we go, here's, uh, wow. So this one looks like it's, it's eating a sub or something. Um, it's, it's interesting, so it looks like they're smiling and laughing and hey, this looks like they're having a good old time. And once again, drinking, yep, you know what? Uh, you know, it's, it, it's cool that they've got different kinds of picnic food and drinks, you know, and socializing, you know, this looks like a really fun party, like um, someone told a hysterical story, but yeah, no, that's cool. Um, let's switch gears and try and draw. So I'm going to draw a fantastical castle on a floating island in the sky. Let's see if we can. So, so its response is that sounds like a dreamy idea. Let me try to draw that for you. I love how it, you know, it's got the personal and then the kind of robot. Let me try to draw that for you. Ah, uh, wow. Okay. So here we go. So, you know, this is definitely exactly what I was looking for. A castle floating in the sky. Looks amazing. And the castles are, are unique and definitely beautiful. You know, it's, I mean, it's really, it's really interesting, you know, like, wow, that's, I mean, that's just, that's just amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm, tr I'm truly, I'm truly impressed and amazed by um, the yeah, creativity and artisticness of this. Uh, oh, it has a prompt in here. Can you add a dragon to the picture? Let's click on that. Yeah. Let's see if it can bring dragons into it. Like Game of Thrones, we always wanted to see the dragons. It seemed to take forever to see dragons. With a click of a button, let's see if we can add dragons. So its response is, sure, I can do that. And it's going to say, here is the updated picture. And now it's got the images generating. But yeah, remember Game of Thrones? Ah, oh, what an amazing show. Okay, wow. Okay, looks like they added dragons. Let's go take a look. Man, if it was that simple in Game of Thrones. Okay, okay, like that's, wow, that's super cool. Is that a gigantic dragon in the background? That looks like a dragon wing over there. There's a you know, dragon over here. And I don't know, that's, that's interesting. Yep, here's a dragon. I can't tell what's, maybe the head is up in the clouds. I'm not sure. A beautiful picture, beautiful castle. Yep, wow, gigantic dragon flying over the castle. That is very cool. And here's a castle, and is the dragon just chilling? Well, that's, I mean, that's interesting. So it, 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 it added dragons, but yep. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see, I wanted to draw a superhero dog saving the day. I am a huge dog person. Now, I like cats, but I love dogs. Dogs are furry little angels. I just think they're amazing. So its response is, that sounds like a cute idea. Let me try to draw that for you. 
So I, I, I love superhero hero movies and I love dogs. So let's see what it can what what images it can create. We've got your images generating prompt, and here we go. We've got some dogs. It looks like it's doing a more realistic. Ah, look at the superhero puppy. Or he's a little little dog. That's super adorable. Yeah. Okay, like this looks like amazing. Like, like that dog could just walk into the living room and like, boom, I'm here to save you. It's got a cape, it's got a little Superman chest piece. <laughs> okay, this one is crazy. All right, so, you know, you know in The Incredibles, you know, uh, the character was helping um, design the super suits. Yeah, I don't know if, a, you know, if the sunglass hat combo is a good look for this dog, but it's got the cape, you know, and uh, I know capes are an issue for superheroes, but this, you know, I don't know, is, you know, could be, you know, could be uh, a lot of different reasons, you know, you know, maybe the dog can't see, you know, or maybe it needs, uh, it's, uh, these are augmented reality goggles, you know, like who knows, like superhero dogs got superhero toys, you know, like Batman, you know, so could be way more functional than I even imagined. But that look, that's something to check out. <laughs> okay, wow, this is interesting. So this is like a point of view, like this dog is, you know, sniffing you or coming at you doing a super sniff. Um, it looks like it's got, you know, a mask on, it's got the cape, it's paws, you know, I don't know if it's like saying, hey, what's up? Or, you know, I don't know. It, it, I mean, it's an inter that's an interesting photo. Um, it's really super cool. Well, I'm, I'm really, I'm really impressed uh, with that. Um, let's see, um, let's see, can you, um, Make it like a comic book. Uh, I misspelled it. That's what I get for being a really bad typist. So the sure, I can try to make it like a comic book. Thank you for correcting my error, Bing. I appreciate it. Here's the updated picture. Okay, yep. Wow. Yep. It's definitely given it that sort of comic book look. So that's a dog with the cape and the comic book style. Here's another one. This is a very happy dog. I really dig this. I love the background. You know, he's flying. He's got the cape and everything. Yep. Here's a, you know, here's a dog, you know, a little bit more of a tougher dog, but with a little bit more, a little bit more human looking kind of body, but it's got the cape. It's got the words and Always kind of annoyed when they had the words. And here's a dog flying. Yeah, no, this is really, this is definitely, um, definitely what I asked for. Um, I think that's really cool. Um, and and when I had it do a comic book, it, let's see here. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna click on the prompt to add s some other superheroes in the background, and see how it handles its own prompt by updating the picture. So its response is okay. I can do that. Here's an updated picture. And we're on interaction nine of 30. Got that limitation of 30 interactions with Bing. So once you hit that 30 mark, resets the conversation, and that's as far as you can go. Okay, so now what's interesting is it didn't just take the pictures and add you know, additional superheroes in the background, it created a whole new picture and then added other superheroes. So these are interesting choices. Um, looks like some are human, some are animal, some are alien. Oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, you know, um, I mean, that's a cool picture. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely digging it. Um, Let's see here. I'm going to ask it to, well, actually it has a prompt down here. Can you add some speech bubbles to the picture? Let's see how it handles that. So let's say you want it to generate a picture, but you want a speech bubble in it. Um, and let's see, what do you want them to say? Um, I'm just going to have it say, hello. I'm just going to have it say, 
Okay, all right. You know, it's got a prompt here. It says, make the dog say, I will save you. I think that's a great, you know, okay, I make the dog say, I will save you. Here's the updated picture. It's cool if you can get it to actually input words in the speech bubble. This will be very interesting. I'm intrigued. I've not asked it to add text to an image before, so I'm very curious how it'll handle this. So, okay, this is, and this is why I think I've tried this and I was a little bummed with it was, it doesn't add the actual words I will save you because unless that's in dog language, you know, I'm not, I'm not seeing it, but you know, this definitely looks like a DC superhero costume the dog's wearing. Um, and once again, I don't know what language, is that alien or dog, you know? Um, and um, it's like, I don't know, I don't know. So, so adding the, the, asking it to add the text. So add, make the dog say, I will save you. So we, we, we use the prompt, can you add some speech bubbles to the picture? And then, and then the prompt was make the dog say, I will save you. And it did not add those words at all. Let's, let's actually try something different. Let's say, uh, draw a futuristic artificial intelligence. Let's see if we can draw a concept of itself. That sounds like a challenging idea. Let me try to draw that for you. So I'm curious what it will draw, which is a generic concept, uh, like artificial intelligence, So it looks like you could start, you know, with just a really wide, okay, here we go. So it's very kind of a futuristic robot looking. Um, yeah, it's got that kind of like Jarvis uh, from Iron Man kind of look. So it, it has kind of a humanoid version that's got more of just a, you know, just more of a, you know, computer, digital computer kind of futuristic look. So. So that's really interesting. Um, one of the things I'm going to do up here is I want to go to, I'm going to get rid of all this text and go to, yeah, bing.com forward slash images forward slash create. So this is image creator. It's powered by Dolly. And so right here it says, want to see how image creator works, select surprise me and then create. Um, it looks like it's giving you a prompt here. Describe an image you'd like to create. Here's a template to help you get started. So it has an adjective. Uh, it has a noun and then a verb and then a style. So this is interesting. So it's, it's, it, it was giving you kind of a, um, you know, and then it has some options here. There's kind of different, different ideas here frequently asked questions. So this is interesting. So surprise me. And then there's help. So um, let's look on the tab here. This is explore ideas. So these are cool. So it's like um, a wolf, minimalistic, art, color, organic forms, energy assembled, energy assembled, layered, depth, alive, vibrant. So these are the keywords in the prompt to generate this image. So a Renaissance painting of an elephant in a tuxedo. You know what? That's brilliant. Colorful splashes of paint, geometric and abstract art. Graphic design logo featuring a skyline, black and white minimalistic. Wow, you know what? That's cool. You, you're generating um, lemon, surrealist, surrealist painting. So I know there are limitations on, you know, not creating images in the style of futuristic scene with skyscrapers, hovercrafts, and robots. Well, that looks familiar. Um, 3D render of a cute polar bear product design, steaming cup of coffee, pop art. Wow, this is really, I mean, this is very impressive. Let's click on creations. So this shows the creations that, that, that we've done. So it has the recent creations here. It looks like we can go click on those and navigate to those previous creations. That's very cool. Now it looks like create images more quickly with boosts. If you run out, image generation may take longer. So it looks like, is it using credits? 
that I have? Interesting. So it looks, hmm, this is very interesting. So I'm curious if it's using these boosts. So let's, let's actually go let's explore ideas. Let's go down and there's that, you know, describe an image, adjective plus noun plus verb plus style. So adjective plus noun plus verb plus style is the kind of prompt. So, so what is Image Creator? Image Creator is a product to help users generate AI images with Dolly. And Dolly is the open AI tool. Given a temp, uh, text prompt where AI will generate a set of images matching that prompt. So how do I use Image Creator? You know, sign up for a Microsoft account, log into your Microsoft account, and use user kind of 25 boosted generations for Image Creator. So you get 25 boosted images. Type in any text you can think of to create an AI generate set of images. Enjoy. Is there a waiting list to use Image Creator? There's no waiting list. We're committed to making AI image AI generate imagery accessible to all, so you can turn their ideas into images. Um, what languages to support at this time? English. They're going to support others in the future. How do I create better prompts? This Image Creator is different from searching for an image in Bing. Works best when you're highly descriptive. So get creative and add details, adjectives, locations, even artistic styles such as digital art and photorealistic. So I think that was great. Like the dog seemed to be more photo photorealistic, the super dog. So here's an example of a text prompt of a creature. Try submitting this prompt, fuzzy creature wearing sunglasses, digital art. So yeah, so it's that adjective, noun, verb, and style. So how do I, how do Microsoft reward, rewards work with image creators? So if you run out of boosts, you have the option to use Microsoft Rewards to redeem additional boosts, enjoy faster processing times. When you run out of boosts in Image Creator, you'll be reminded that you have the option to redeem Microsoft Rewards points for boosts. So what if I have other questions about Image Creator? So let's click here, learn more. Okay, so learn more just takes us to the FAQ. So interesting. So I'm at 78 boosts. I wonder if those were given to me. So that's a good question. I'll have to follow up on that. Um, but I'm going to click on surprise me. And let's see what it does. Dot, dot, dot. Future city with a floating spire in the center. Isometric design. I'll click create. And it used a boost. So it looks like every time I have it create an image, it is going to use a boost. You get 25 by default is what it was saying. I don't know why I had more than that. And then here we go. These are the images. Futuristic city, the floating spire in the center, isometric design. All right, well, well, thank you for joining me today. It was interesting to look at the Microsoft Bing Image Creator. I know this is a preview technology, so it's it's pretty new. Uh, but I appreciate you joining me today uh, while we explore uh, using the Dolly tool through Bing Chat to create images and have a wonderful day.